problem. It wasn't common. There were not many visions. There were not many visions. I could, I could say that we are almost also in the same time. We are almost also in the same time. Because in those days where God appeared, anytime, anywhere, Yeah. 
blessing. We tell us what to do. The simple nature of it is it's not about how many times you hear it. It's just one. You hear it, whatever you heard passes on. <laughs> whatever you heard passes on. You want to see what will happen at the end. And then you have to it.
Ale ja ci ja nie wiem. Ja nie lasłam. Ja Your motivations. People must hear your dreams and 
ideas. Sometimes people even go into action. Sometimes meet people at demonstration. Ask them, why are you here? <laughs> you cry, why are you here? <laughs> you are holding this thing with the doom so doom so will kill us. What have you heard? What am I saying? This year, from the beginning, the word that was given unto us was that we should allow God to lead us. What my title really is, is what have you heard? And what will you hear? What have you heard? And what will you hear? Hallelujah. Amen. The five senses, the eye, the ear, the sense of smell, feel, and touch, and the taste. All these things, they work together. But if you realize, when one of them is not working, one, two, three is not working, one that is left is very, very active and concentrating. So, people who are blind, they are the most people who can hear. You see, they can determine your color by your voice. By your voice alone, these people can actually determine where they are going. They can actually even determine here. It's so strong because that one is closed. Because when you've got two working at a time, you are distracted. Because the brain has to divide which information he sends to the eye and which one he sends to the ear. But when it is just your ear, the one that you should have, you should have seen, what you should have felt, what you should have um, smelled, he compacts them all here. So the blind people, they can stand by the street and hear that a car is coming from far ahead. You who can see, you might not hear. Because when you're looking at something else, your ears may be distorted. So why? Why am I talking about hearing and the importance of hearing? This is what I find out. It says that, these five senses are very important for day-to-day -day human functioning. All five takes information from the environment and send it to the brain to process. Your brain then processes the information and tells your body how to react or respond. When one or the other senses, as I've said already, becomes weak, one which is remaining becomes really, really active. And the other thing is that those who are dumb, when they can't speak, they also are quite quick to hear. They are very, very quick to hear. So it's a very sad thing when someone is uh, deaf and dumb. It could be worse if you are blind as well. Because then you've lost everything. So you are left with sensing and feeling and that kind of thing. It says, that is the reason why God repeated in his word many times, hear my voice. You see, in human logistics, this is what I want to bring to you. In human logistics, the goal that we serve, we cannot see. Sense of eye distorted. In human logistics, the goal that we serve, we cannot feel. Our sense of feeling is distorted and destroyed. In human understanding, the goal we serve, we cannot smell. In human understanding, that part of our senses is distorted. In human logistics, the goal that we sell, we cannot taste. So in actual fact, that part is gone. But the goal we sell, one thing he gave us, we can hear him. We can hear him. So what we as Christians have got, the only thing left for us to concentrate on is hearing the voice of God. That is all we have got. So I don't want to, if you allow gossip to enter that, you've just thought of that. <laughs> Where is your sense of following a leader? You cannot see, you cannot feel, you cannot smell, you cannot touch. Neither can you hear him. You are not being led. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. From the perspective of biblical things, from biblical perspective, the creation of the world was completed only when God spoke. Even the dwellings of the heavens and the earth had to hear. They only came into 
been after being spoken to. They had to hear. I said, lie. Now they'll be lying. Lie said, ah, I have to come on. Divide. See. Say, ah, we have to divide. They had to hear. Our very existence came out from a spoken word. Number two, he says, the very beginning of our existence, the very inhabitants of earth had to come from hearing the instructions of God. The entrance of sin into this world was due to the itchy ears of women. <laughs> our ears so Men, you see, the difference between a woman's hearing and a man's hearing is that men, they do selective hearing. You say something, he chooses which one he heard. Did you say that? Mm -hmm. It is important. Elder says it is important. But women, the ones you said, the ones you didn't say, they hear. <laughs> <laughs> you see, so if it was Adam that met the serpent, he would have been selective in the hearing. But Adam, if met him, she heard the beauty of the fruit. She heard how great wisdom it will give to them. Heard even those that were not supposed to be heard. And responses. The brain process. It's nice, it's nice. Sin. Just entered by hearing. Hearing. Upon the hearing, the earth was created. Upon the hearing, we destroyed it. What you hear. The salvation of man, which is reconciling back and changing what was destroyed because of what was heard, is also by hearing. That is why Apostle Paul says, faith only comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Why are you and I here? Did we meet Jacob? We didn't meet Jacob. Neither did we know who Apostle Paul is. <laughs> Neither did we come from Gentiles or wherever this began. But what have we heard? We heard the good news. Romans 2 says that by the renewing of your mind, you heard only. It is only by the word. The transformation comes only by what you hear. So, Stressing on hearing. Because what you hear can destroy you. It can make you. So sometimes we have to be selective. You know, I will say at all times. You see, when you hear, choose to hear that which builds you. When you tell your child, if someone wants to dare, tell your child, God forgive, you are foolish. The person will become foolish. Because what it does is you hear the brain processes it. Like, yeah, I'm foolish. I'm foolish. There's no other thing. I'm foolish. Mm, what is foolish? I have to add foolish. And then that happens. That is why they always warn parents what you tell your children. What you tell them. And I watch Oineba, he's such an intelligent boy. That boy, when he stands here, listens. He watches from here. He watches here. He listens. And he listens to even the sound of the tambourine. So if you see Oineba off guard, you catch him off guard. He plays the tambourine like, like an expert. Because when we come to prayer meeting, he watches. When we do that, he watches. The other time I saw him. He was getting into his thigh so that small height. Wow. He was not on beat. Because when he came to stand here, even this morning, he watched. He stood here. I could see the way he was watching. And his ears and the instruments. When they 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 When we close, look for him. What we hear. And it's from even the beginning of our life. Scientists have shown that when you are pregnant, what your children, when they develop their, 
their hearings. They can hear whatever goes on on the outside. So sometimes children are born with gifts like singing because sometimes their mom sings. They sing and they hear. They sing and they listen. They listen and there is meditations. So they can hear. So what actually goes there? If they hear every day, they are hearing, yeah, 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 yeah. They come out when they stop by, you're like, hey. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's all they have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you seen those one year olds who actually danced songs that were played at the time that their moms were pregnant? Because they heard it. So when they come out, playing it again is a reminder of what they heard. So if you don't want yay, yeah, don't give them yay. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then it comes down to what, because there was, um, my dad always gives us this example about this woman who constantly had younger children, very young children at home. Constantly said, when their dad is coming, the minute she hears that he says, eh, hey, the devil is coming, the devil is coming, the devil, not knowing the children are expected out. The minute the dad entered it, the devil is coming, the devil is coming. So then the dad said, ah, who is this devil that keeps coming to this house? <laughs> <laughs> not knowing the children, that's what they've heard. Because that's what the man says. And she doesn't say it in front of the man. She says it when he's outside. When it comes to the children, you watch her, the devil. <laughs> so by the time they realize, mm, it's that devil. Because this is the only time mom says that. So what you are giving out to your children, encouragement, motivation, that really works. I looked into a research that taught about the fact that, he says that what we hear, when we sleep, our brain also processes still. Even when we are asleep, what went here is still going on. Samuel was a young boy. He had not known nothing of the word of God. He had not yet been revealed. Nothing has been revealed unto him. He was just an innocent man. A young boy in the house of God. You see, if you can hear, you will have to open your ears. When he heard, and you have to make a distinguish between the voice that you are hearing being from God or a voice that you shouldn't really hear. <clears throat> what are we going to do this year? What have you heard already? What has doctors said? Have you realized that those who get, when you get a diagnosis of HIV, until you hear it, you are fine. Ah. Until they actually hear that diagnosis, they are fine. Yeah. Their body is fine. There's no evidence of it. The minute they tell them, they start shrinking. Mm -hmm. Because the minute you hear it, you say, the end is near. So the effect of the process of body saying that you're going to die, eventually you're going to die. So even when you go to the doctors, so my job, what I try to do is, even when they said, we know, and I know, Pastor, this is bad news, I, I always encourage parents. There is not a single time I've said, this one is a bit too difficult, we can't listen. I always say, when I say it, I say, God, you are backing me. Why? You are the same person. <laughs> if it doesn't happen, you are in trouble. Because the doctors don't even know. I say, God, it's because of you, it's because of you. But when they hear it, at the end, they get there and they say, Grace, you said it. And I say, you will get there. Amen. I always say, you will get there. It will not be like this, you will get there. They will get better. They will get better. They will get better. Sometimes when you say they will get better, the children decide to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy them from me. They are not getting better. So, what I want to bring to you today is be selective. This year, if you really, really want God to lead you, you have got to hear His word. You have got to hear the voice of the Lord. See, John chapter 10, God. The, the, the Bible talks about Jesus being the shepherd. He says that when he, he who is the shepherd, his sheep knows his voice. Say, my sheep know my voice. When a stranger comes in, when a thief comes into the pen, they will not follow it. They will not follow it. The, 
the, the person because they do not identify his voice. Are you hearing the word of God? In the last bit, in the last bit, it says that the Lord continued to appear in Shiloh, and there he revealed himself to someone through his word. Revelations. I talked about the beginning saying that today visions are not here and there. Hey, God has appeared here, then we all go watch. God has appeared here, we go, go, watch. It is not like that anymore. So you must hear him in your room. Because nobody is going to hear him for you and come and tell you. You have got to hear him concerning your marriage. You have got to hear him concerning your education. You have got to hear him concerning your health. You have got to hear what God's got to say. You have got to hear God. You, you have got to hear God. Because if not, then there is no leading. No, no, no. You, there is no leading. And before you can obey, you must hear. If you do not hear that I said, sit down. You will stand there. So you can't obey. But if you hear God telling you, don't do this. Don't do that. This one, leave it. Don't go this one. Then you know you're on the right track. But how can we hear? I know some of the youth are thinking, hey, those times where God used to shout through the rains and the clouds and the distance. It's not happening no. God speaks to us. The first thing is his word. That is why we would be very, very weak if we do not know and understand the word of God. Because that is him telling you and talking to you every day. The word of God. So concerning your illness, what has God said? By my strength, you are healed. What have you heard? By my strength, you are healed. You see, and concerning your decay, he says, I have made you head the head and not the tail. So he says, ah, he's made me the head, oh, not the tail. <laughs> I am not the tail. So you don't go to the tail. When you find yourself at the tail, you realize you're in the wrong place. Because that's not what you had. That's not what you had. Amen. So in order that your ears will be all cleared, all the wax, you see, gossip and all those ungodly hearings, ungodly songs and those things, they are wax. Though. They are wax. They are just tinting the, tickling the hearing thing. They need to be released. And it is only by the word of God. Number two, praise. Who can communicate? What do we say prayer is? Communication. communication. How can you talk to someone? Now you talk uh, non-stop. You don't listen. That one, pray, when you're in a relationship, you do that. <laughs> you will lose the guy. <laughs> you talk. Uh. You see, I'm one, one person. There's communication. And there's talking at, at someone. I'm one person who likes, so my dad, when I pick a call, I've, I call him, so I say, Enkomo. Enkomo. <laughs> my sister, she joins in, in the Enkomo. But myself and my dad, we are very, you know, talkative. She likes the talkative, she likes listening. But then by the time she joins in, she starts from somewhere we've passed. So my dad says, ah, what's the Enkomo? What's the Enkomo? So he's giving us that title. So whenever I pick at this, he says, hey, you're I call him. It's because I like to communicate. You communicate, you communicate. And he speaks, I speak, but I'll be in the middle. In the middle, he says, ah, ah, what did that man say? I was saying, come on. You see? So we communicate with God. But you don't just talk. Yeah, but we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. So many times you are praying, we are praying, we are praying. We don't even give God a chance to speak. Ah, you want that? We want that. We want this. We want that. We want that. We want that. We want that. If we will only keep quiet once and say, God, I said I want this. You say, no, if I give you that, it's going to end up like this. So take that. When he's even putting it in front of us, because we have not heard it, we don't watch. I want that too. I want that. <laughs> Eyes closed. Shut. We are not watching. We are not taking anything. What are you going to hear? You see, by the end of the year, how your life has been would have been on how you heard. 
and how you obeyed because of what you heard. So what we did on 31st was fine. The leading will happen. But if you don't hear, you will go your own way. He is leading all. He is the captain of the Israel host. He is the captain in the boat. But if you don't hear, when we say we are stepping down, you will be in the boat. But you are part of the group. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm bringing my message to an end. Choose to hear. Some of the instances in the Bible, I want to end by telling you some of the things that destroy people by what they heard. You see, Ammon raped his sister because of what a bad friend gave him. So, ah, it's your sister. But you know, I can help you. Just pretend you are sick. Dad, 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 dad. None of the plans of Ammon was his own. All was advice. Hallelujah. Amen. And then Paul questioned Galatians people and said, ah, you, your faith, is it by the words of the Lord or by what you heard? What is your faith built on? Is it by the words of the law? Is it because, is it because you, are, you are here? Your salvation, I What is it by? Is it because you have heard the good news? You change your mind. Or is it because you were born into the church of Pentecost? Or you've seen it done ah, the old way. What you can hear, what you hear can put fear in you. So don't allow it. This year, don't allow it. Cry. Hallelujah. What you hear can cause your untimely death. If you go to the end of the death of Amy, he didn't die because of what, because he was not at the battlefield. He didn't see what happened. But what someone came to tell him, all your sons are dead. And the act of, oh, the act of God. Then the man falls backwards, breaks his neck. Hallelujah. The message I want to leave with you Due to the great impact of what you hear on your life, be selective in your hearing. Choose to hear God only this year. So that you do not miss God's hearing and his directions. Choose to hear the word of God and not the word of man. Bosses, tutors, doctors, bad news, and gossip. Choose not to hear none of this. They are words of men. They are words of men. Choose to hear the promises of God. And I've got Psalm 34, verse 4. Psalm 37, verse 23 to 24. Psalm 27, verse 13 says, I remain confident of this, that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. David heard, choose to hear and obey the voice of the captain, the commander, and the shepherd of our lives. Choose to hear. Someone said, when gossip hits the ears of a wise man, he says, when gossip stops, when it hits the ears of a wise person. Because that person hears it, but don't process it and leaves it there. We started with antipressures. Oh. <laughs> Fufu came in. <laughs> Pizza came in. Maria came in. Ha! <laughs> Wickedness came in. Jealousy. So what you hear can cause you to become jealous for no reason. What you hear can make you be helpful of someone for no reason. I'm bringing to an end. Assess, really, when you hear something, you sit down and say, is it necessary? Do I really, do I really need to hear this? So, and that is going for the youth. This message, you for you You see, this is going for the youth. The TVs we watch, the music we hear, and the kind of friendships we build can actually
actually break you and make your future. So if you are constantly in the midst of people who talk about pornography, you are going to be transformed gradually. If you are constantly in the midst of people who just talk, all they talk about is R&B, R&B music here and there. They are listening to Selene Oh, Selene Dion cries an old person. Who is the current one? <laughs> hey, my time was Selene Dion. Justin Bieber. Hey, Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> and all these people, if you are constantly listening, and what are, what are in their songs? Baby get naked, baby does that, baby that, all that. So when you're talking to even God fearing Christians, you're, talking, you're calling them babe. Baby. Baby. They are not your babies. They are ladies. Amen. You know, don't treat them like the way they want you to treat them because they know it will change your mind. What you hear. What you hear. Amen. Amen. Purify them. That is why the Bible says, so whatever is pure, whatever is holy, whatever is trustworthy, whatever is understanding, these ones get to know. Get to know and get to hear. If it is not pure, leave it. If it's not trustworthy, leave it. Just leave it. Hear the word of God. Hear the voice of God that you will obey in this generation. That you obey in this generation. Amen. That you will be the Malcolm X of this generation. Amen. That you will be the revolutionaries of Christian dong in this generation. Amen. When your name is mentioned, they will say that they heard the word of God and they took it, they obey. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What have I told you today? Is it only precious and fulfill you remember? Yeah. What have you heard? What have you heard? Selective hearing. Men, stop that one. What is <laughs> your wives? Selective hearing. Selective hearing. Shall we burn our heads?